want to ride the boat YouTube, it's your boy Tilly, and I'm back with another crazy reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to falling 30,000 feet and surviving. This lady fell 30,000. I ain't finna say nothing on This is crazy. Let's get to it. 30,000 feet, and she survived it. This is God. Best Nafuda. God was on her side. 50 years ago, she fell 33,333 feet from the sky. And this is the curious case of the highest fall survived without a parachute. Mm. Bezna Vulovic's story for me is one of the most incredible survival stories, if in fact not the most impressive. Uh, I have a Wolverine. Pregnancy. Surviving that and also surviving the mental trauma of knowing that you've experienced one of the worst things that could possibly happen to you. At the time of the air disaster, Vesna was just 23 years old. And she'd been working as a flight attendant for a mere eight months. She wasn't even supposed to be on duty on the day of the fatal flight. Mm. Another Vesna should have been working. But there was confusion over their names. So on the 26th of January, 1972, Vesna ordered JAT Yugoslav Airlines Flight 367 in Copenhagen, Denmark. The DC-9 plane was flying from Stockholm in Sweden to Belgrade in Serbia with two stopovers. The first such stopover was in Copenhagen where Vesna boarded, but the plane never made it to the second stopover in Croatia. Because en route, over what was then Czechoslovakia and is now the Czech Republic, the plane was blown apart. At 4.01 p.m., 46 minutes after takeoff, an explosion in the luggage compartment tore the McDonnell Douglas aircraft into three pieces. As the cabin depressurized, the passengers and other flight crew were believed to have been sucked out of the plane into freezing temperatures, falling to their deaths. Damn. The fuselage itself would have smashed because of the bomb broken into bits, people blown out of the plane. She, however, seemed to have been trapped at the rear of the aircraft, probably pinned in to the back of the fuselage by the drapes trolley, um, so she couldn't be pulled out of the plane. The fuselage separated from the rest of the plane and hurtled towards the ground in a heavily wooded area. It crash landed in the thick snow at a favorable angle, and Ooh. that's most likely what saved Vesna's life. God was on her side, man. Dang, bro. Vesna's doctors said that her low blood pressure also caused her to quickly pass out when the cabin depressurized, and that prevented her heart from bursting upon impact. She broke almost every bone in her body. Um, she was paralyzed temporarily in a coma for three days. Vesna was found screaming inside the wreckage, and the person who found her was a former World War II medic, so he was able to administer vital first aid before rescuers arrived. Mm. Although Vesna survived, she sustained extremely serious injuries and spent the following days in a coma. It's, it's incredible to think that someone survived such a great fall, and, and rightly she is celebrated as uh, being one of the most remarkable human beings that's ever lived. She suffered a fractured skull, two broken legs, three broken vertebrae, a fractured pelvis, several broken ribs, and temporary paralysis below the waist. That's why I say it, it can be worse, man. Vesna was able to walk again after. I always say this, man. It can be worse. It can be worse, bro. Like with your life and stuff. People, man, don't take your life for granted. That's all I say. It can be. Uh, Man, man, I'm just, just be thankful. Though she had a permanent limp because of the twisting of her spine. A couple of conspiracy theorists have suggested that Vesna Village may not have fallen from quite as high an altitude. That her, in fact her plane was flying at a much lower altitude and it was shot down by friendly fire. Oh. This claim was debunked by flight data obtained from the aircraft's black boxes. The data shows that the plane's altitude, acceleration, direction and speed at the time of the explosion was indeed 
333 feet. That's 10,160 meters. While she has no memory of it, it was clear that she'd fallen a great height and, and survived. So what an amazing character uh, and what an amazing record. There's insufficient evidence against the official crash report for us to disqualify Vesna's record. So she remains the holder of the record for the highest fall survived without a parachute. And that record makes its well-deserved entry into our curious casebook. Vesna sadly passed away aged 66 in 2016. R.I.P. R.I.P. to her. Man, appreciate y'all for watching, man. That's crazy, man. This is why I say you just uh, appreciate your life, man, because it can always be worse, man. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe now. If you get subscribed, make sure you turn on that post notification bell. You already know we're on the road to 100K subscribers. And we out. <laughs>